Decision support arrangements are legally recognised arrangements for people who need support to make certain decisions. There are five different decision support arrangements available. These arrangements are based on the different levels of support that a person requires to make a specific decision at a specific time. Under these arrangements, people can be appointed as decision supporters. A decision supporter has the legal authority to help with certain decisions about a person's personal welfare, property and money matters. The type of support they can provide depends on the decision support arrangement in place. One of these arrangements is a decision-making assistance agreement. This is the lowest level of support. A decision-making assistance agreement lets people choose someone they know and trust to help them when they are making certain decisions. They choose which decisions they need help with. The decisions can be about their personal welfare and their property and financial affairs. The person making the decision-making assistance agreement is called the appointer. The person they choose to help them to make decisions is called their decision-making assistant. The decision-making assistant needs to agree to provide the person with this support. A decision-making assistant can help to gather information and explain it. This can include getting personal information from businesses, healthcare organisations and professionals, depending on what is written in the agreement. They can help the person to understand that information and weigh up their options. They can discuss their wishes and help the person to communicate them to others. Once the person has made a decision, the decision-making assistant can help them to tell other people what that decision is. They can also take steps to make sure the decision is acted on. For example, if the person decides to set up direct debits for some of their bills, they can talk to the bank and help to ensure that these are put in place. The decision-making assistant cannot make decisions with or on behalf of another person. The person continues to make their own decisions for themselves. A decision-making assistance agreement must be made in writing. It needs to be signed and witnessed and notified to the Decision Support Service. For further information, please contact our dedicated information services team on 01211 9750 or visit decisionsupportservice.ie.